Hi, my Stampin' friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbell, Stampin' Queen. We are continuing to use all kinds of fun new products from the occasions and celebration catalogs. And so I wanted to show you this adorable little birthday card. I found this one on Pinterest. I'm pretty sure it was Dawn Olszewski, I believe. I found it on her blog and thought, how cute is that? I love this little ice cream set. We got this uh, for free, actually, at my on-stage event. And um, I'm really enjoying using it. It's got all kinds of adorable little um, ice creams and popsicles and things like that. Even little strawberries, little cherries, little sprinkles, all kinds of fun stuff to do. And it even has um, coordinating framelits, which make it even nicer when you're trying to cut out all those fun little pieces. Um, I mean, it even has little sprinkles here. There's your strawberry, your cherry. Look at that little spoon. How cute is that? So matching framelits, which makes things so much nicer for us. So I started off by taking an oval and I cut this out ahead of time with our stitched shapes framelits. Now these were available earlier. We of course sold out of them because they were ultra popular, but they are coming back. So have no fear. They will be back if you already have them use them. If you don't have them, you can just use a regular oval. It'll work just fine. I used some Early Espresso ink and our Happy Birthday sentiment. And I'm going to stamp that a little off center. I want it a little to the right, uh, just so that I have room to put my ice cream on there. That's a very juicy ink pad. Let's hope it comes out okay. Beautiful. Okay, so now <clears throat> I'm going to do some stamping on some scrap paper, and that is just to get my ice cream pieces together. So I'm going to use crumb cake for the ice cream cone. Crumb cake just seems to work perfect. It's just the right shade for that. So there's our ice cream cone, and I'm going to use Peekaboo Peach and Watermelon Wonder for my swirl. So I've got my ice cream here. It's my ice cream base. I'm going to stamp that. And then I'm going to come in with the darker watermelon. And the nice thing with these photopolymers is you can see right through them. So lining up makes things a cinch. Ta-da! Looks like I have a little, there's a little piece of hair on there. Didn't quite get there, but that's okay. Now, it is a little bit off center, which is not a big deal because the die cut actually cuts smaller than the stamp, so it works out just perfectly. Now, I'm not gonna make you watch me die cut, so I've got my ice cream cone, I've got my swirl, and there's my little spoon. How cute is that? I feel like it's like for Barbie. My kids always had those when we were little, and I pick them out of the hardwood floor, the cracks in the hardwood floor very often. Polly Pocket, that's what it was. Little shoes and, oh my God, that thing was annoying. So I'm glad they are out of that stage. Okay, I lost my train of thought. Where's my circle? There we are. Okay, so bring my, bring my oval back in and I'm going to attach my ice cream cone to that. And I'm gonna have it, I think, just kind of off. I don't want it straight up and down. Okay, so now the next piece I have is a piece of early espresso. This is four and a quarter, no, it is five and a quarter by four. And I went ahead and embossed it. I think it's the festive, no, it's sparkle, I believe is what this one's called. And I want to use some dimensionals just to give that a little bit of um, dimension. So, of course I don't have them, hold on a second. I wasn't quite prepared with my dimensionals this morning. Okay, so I'm just gonna have maybe three or four on there just so that it's raised up enough. Okay, and attach that to my card front. And then I'm going to put a dimensional on the very top of my ice cream and a little bit of snail adhesive on the bottom. So that way, it's going to be raised up also. Okay, just like that. Now I do have a piece of Early Espresso cardstock. That's my base, so it's, it is a tone on tone uh, card and I did like that when I saw Dawn's version. I thought that was pretty 
nifty. So we're just gonna attach that to our card base. I like to use a lot of adhesive when I am attaching an embossed piece onto my cardstock just to make sure that it doesn't pop off. Okay, so that's gonna go on there. Now I have some little mini glue dots and I want to just use those to attach my little spoon. Not that you always eat ice cream with a spoon, but you know, you might. Okay, so there's a the little spoon. And then I took some white baker's twine and tied little tiny bows. And I'm gonna use a glue dot for that as well. Just stick that right down in the middle. And then you kind of have to fold it a little bit so that it's not sticking out and sticking to other parts that you don't want it stuck to. And then attach that right onto my spoon. And then I can trim those little tails a little bit so they're not flying all over the place. And there you have it. Super cute little happy birthday card ice cream cone. So thanks so much for joining me. Have a great week and I will see you guys next week for Movie Monday.